Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me Cooper and today we're going to be going on and seeing what these kids test is about. Nico will be your opponent for dual puzzles. Okay, so you're Nico. What's up Nico? Dual puzzle number one. This puzzle, okay, think hard and get it oh, oh, get it correct. I'll do my best to get it correct, Nico. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my absolute best, so please don't make it too hard. Well, we already have a problem because I don't know what any of these cards are. This is Steel Swarm Cock What the fuck is that? Cockostag? Okay, hello there. And then we got Steel Swarm Cell. If you control no monsters, you could special summon this card from your hand while face up on the field. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing there's an effect in the grave, because currently there's nothing I can do. Alright, while well, face up this field, this card cannot be trivia except for a trivia summon of a Steel Swarm monster and cannot be used synchro. So that's fine and all. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Like, There's only one card I can activate in hand right now, and that's it. I, I, I can't do anything else. Okay, well then I'll activate double summon for like no reason. Uh, yes? Oh, I have a trap. Oh, shit, I have a trap. Oh, crap, that's on me. I have a trap card. When this card is tribute summoned by retributing two Steel Swarm monsters, select and activate one and destroy all monsters on the field except this card. Well, that would be nice. Uh, I'm going to activate Raigeki Break, and then I'm going to get rid of... Shit. What is in here? Well, this card is in face up attack position on the field. Level 5 or higher special summon monsters on the field cannot activate their effects. That's not what I'm looking for. Alright, whatever. I'm going to throw away this card to assume I could summon this card. So let me just pop this and somehow assume that nothing is going to change. Yeah, no. Okay, well, I'm going to just reset because I didn't even know Raikeki Break was on the field. My assumption is I got to throw away my level 8 monster, but... Um, I don't know why yet. I, I also should just check. My opponent has 2,800 life points, which implies I'm going to summon the card in my hand to win the duel. Alright. So, sorry. I understand, guys. I am not from this time period. Uh, I can't tell you the answer, but I can give you hints. Activate Raigeki Break at the cost of Steel Swarm Kakaka in your hand. With that effect, you should be able to destroy the Gravity Bind. Well, yeah, I was going for that. Uh, the only thing is I should have destroyed- I, I should have thrown away the monster in my hand, which even I knew I should have done that. I just didn't care. Because I was like, wait, what? Do, do any of these cards have effects I just don't know about? I, I didn't even read. Alright, so... Steel Swarm Kakaka. That's the one we're throwing away, huh? So we're gonna go with our Geki Break. We're gonna throw away this guy over here. We're going to destroy good old Gravity Bind. And then I'm assuming for some reason one of these cards will activate now. Yep, this card will activate now. Oh, it says two monsters with zero defense. So we'll go like this and this. Alright, and now I can double summon. So okay, that was a really easy one, but my dummy... Yeah, I, I was so dumb that I didn't throw it away. Yeah, most of those cards I've never used in my life, so don't yell at me, please. <laughs> I've never used Steel Swarms in my life, and I've never used Recurring Nightmare in my life. I have used Double Summon in my, in my life. That is a card I've used before. So first things first, let's go ahead and destroy all monsters. Yeah, obviously destroy all the monsters. Marshmallow's a great card, but uh, this is the kind of card we need to stop it. And then we're going to go into Battle Phase, and we're going to do 2800 damage. So it's nice of them to give you hints, that is very kind of the game. Even though I definitely would have figured that one out if I had just played it one more time. Even I was curious why I didn't throw away the freaking monster. Um, but, uh, I don't know, I'm a crazy person, so that's what happened. So we have success, we got $200, which we need money, so that's good. I know we haven't been to a shop yet, but I haven't seen a shop yet. Oh, you got it right. Okay, four more left. Let's go ahead and get them going. I've got dual puzzle number two. The puzzle, okay, this one's a harder one. Let's see what you got. So with dual puzzle number two, they're going to give me ritual monsters. Again, we're in a situation where I don't know what any of these cards are. Okay, flip, you can have one geesh key, so that card's not the card. Uh, during your main phase, you can activate this card effect by discarding this card. Your opponent cannot activate spells, trap, spell, trap card effects. Uh, or monster effects in response to Gishki ritual spell card activation. And when a Gishki monster is ritual summoned, your opponent cannot. Okay, so that basically stops bottomless. Uh, what's the scrap goblin do? Uh, I don't want to read it. Okay, what about these cards? When this card is summoned, you can add to your hand one Gishki monster with a thousand offense uh, from your. Wait, from your deck? Oh shit, I don't have anything in my deck. Uh. 
or less from your deck except Gishiki Abyss. Okay, well, there's nothing in my deck. So I guess no matter what, I'm going to have to activate Gishiki Ban uh, Vanity. Yeah, and then... I could... What does this card do? This card can only be Ritual Summon, which... Uh, yeah, we know that. When, all, when this card is Ritual Summon, select up to five cards from either graveyard and return them to the deck. Oh, I see now. Uh, this card can only be used to ritual, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once per turn, you can discard one Gishiki monster to select one face-up monster your opponent controls and return it to the owner's deck. Well, isn't that nice? How many life points does my opponent have? 28, so this is the monster that's going to end this duel. Maybe. Um, so if I use this card, is this a ritual thing that does something else? Okay. Oh, total levels. Okay, you can return this card from the graveyard to the deck. Uh, to select one Gishiki Ritual Monster in your graveyard and return it to the hand. What? Okay. So I think this is what they want me to do. They want me to play this card. They want me to special summon this monster. And to tribute, I need to tribute this... Oh, no, it has to be exact. Okay, I've already messed up. I've already messed up. Okay, whoops. I, I thought I was just gonna... I didn't know it had to be exact. I should have read exact numbers. I thought it was like any ritual monster, where if you go over, it's fine. So let's see. Select card to owner's deck. Um, I don't think it matters anymore, but I guess this guy? No, no, not that guy. This guy? Oh, select up to four cards? Okay. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's just do that. I already know I messed up, so I, I should just uh, redo if possible. Let's do a surrender real quick. Yeah. I guess next time I will summon the level 8 monster immediately, and then I will figure it out from there, maybe. Either way, they'll give me a tip, right? So it won't matter. Again, remember guys, I'm from a time period where none of this mattered to me. I only really cared about GX and below. And even then, it wasn't even that late GX. I'm not talking Season 4. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, let's see. I can't tell you the answer, I can give you hints. First, use the effect of Gishiki Vanity to avoid... Yep, I already knew that. What do you think? That No, that didn't help at all. I already knew that. That's that's the... Oh, shit! No, I don't want to do... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that one. No. Don't make me do that one. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. I was just trying to press A. Look how... Look how... So there's like lag before it opens, so it makes me think I need to press A again. Alright, here we go. Let's try this one again. And this time, I guess I'm summoning a level 8 monster in hopes that that does something. So, first things first. We gotta... We gotta do this, no matter what. Ishiki Valley. I already knew that was something I had to do. Then we're going to activate Aquamere. Then we're going to throw away... I'm going to special summon this card instead. We're going to get rid of this card and this card. Get ourselves Gishti Valley. <sighs> okay. Return it to the owner's deck. Yeah, that's fine. Then we're going to go ahead and do this. And that. Oh, is it really that simple? <laughs> was I think I was like reading all their effects like, oh, I wonder what I'm supposed to do. No, it's just attack. So this this one made it hard because I didn't know what this guy's effect even was because I didn't feel like reading it. And I never want to read effects. That's that's uh, that's just a fact of life. So if you guys are not ready for that, then oh boy, you are not ready for this let's play. Because god damn it, I hate reading. So we got four hundred dollars for that one. That's that's a little bit better. I can I can use four hundred dollars. Alright. There's still more than half left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be quiet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up once and then get lucky because you know the puzzles are ten times easier than I think they are. I just have no information. It's like Cooper. All the information's on the card. Screw you. I'm not reading. <laughs> all right. When this card is uh, sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one level two or lower ghost monster from your deck. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one non two or level four or lower ghost monster from your deck. Uh, so they have to leave the field. So what's your effect? Do you make them leave the field? Um, let's see. This face of Zion monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Well, isn't that nice? How many life points do you have? You have 5k. Wait, you have 5k? Holy shit, he has 5k. Well then, that changes things. Oh, we have trap cards. Interesting. Thunder crash. Destroy all monsters on your side of the field and flip damage. Yay. Now let me see what's in here. Alright, when this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can switch some one level 5 or higher Gusto monster from your deck. I'm gonna guess the other monster is level 5 or higher, yep. Uh, then I already know what I'm probably supposed to do. Um, special summon one level 2 or lower Gusto monster from your deck. And 
and then that was a level 2 or Gusto monster, yeah. So both of them should summon the monster either way. So they're curious to see what happens. Um, is there another card in here I should look at? Or is this it? Alright, I'm just gonna summon the this guy, because he's stronger. Then we're gonna activate Thunder Crash to do a little bit of burn to the opponent while destroying my own monster. And then uh, activate the card in the grave to special summon my weak monster. Uh, don't need to chain, I don't think. And then we're gonna summon this guy. Uh, and then, we do need to limit reverse, I believe, but I don't know when. We don't have an extra deck, right? So, there's no reason to limit reverse now, because then I wouldn't get this card back. So now we could just Thunder Crash again for 300 damage. Not a lot, but trust me, it'll be worth. And then we do that, and then we get a bigger monster. Yeah, because now we're allowed to summon um, the big guy. And the big guy has 1,900 attack. And this says, once per turn, you can return one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck to select one monster your opponent controls and one face-up Gusto monster you control. Oh. All right. I'm going to go ahead and activate Limit Reverse. Yeah, let's get, uh, let's get this zero attack point monster back on the field. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate your effect. And by doing this, I put this on the back to the top of my deck, and we take this, and I give you this. And now I got two monsters that could do a lot of damage. And they add up to 4,400 damage. And I did it on the first try! Apparently I should use a Gusto deck in this Let's Play because I know how to use them. It didn't take me uh, a mistake to get to get it. I just figured it out. And I didn't even have to read really. The game just kind of did it for me. So this is a cool looking like sub and skull monster. Maybe I use this card too. Apparently I need something called Plague Spreader Zombie, which I have used before and seen in many decks before because that's a very common tuner. I got $600. Now you're talking. Uh, we should definitely do all the dual puzzles if we're going to get that much money. Alright, here's the present we promised. What do I get? What do I get? Enemy controller. Interesting. The manipulation uh, card. If you like, you can make your own dual puzzles too. No. No, I don't want to. That's a cool idea. Don't get me wrong. Hey, let me in too. What's up, Toru? What's you? What, who are you? Like, who are you? Why well, you got that speed suit on for, like, racing? Toru, you're the one who said you were too busy uh, putting together your dual runner to play with us. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I just gotta finish it so I can hurry up and get to the city. Yeah, you better. You keep saying you're gonna be in the turbo duelist of the best turbo duelist in the world. But since you're here, does that mean you finished your dual runner? Of course. Oh shit, I haven't. I just stopped by to pick up a tool that I need. Okay. What? I really want to hurry up and see your dual runner. I, you know what? I love the duel you, dude. I, I'm just, just asking. The card shop is... Wait, what? Card shop? I see card shop. Hey, don't say that. Wait, today is the card shop opens? I completely forgot. I guess I'll go check it out. Dude, if there's a card shop, we need to go now. All right, get your tool and then one of you kids, uh, Nico. Let's go. We gotta go. We're going bowling. But then after that, we're going to a card shop. All right, I hate to forget the one thing I came here for. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. All right, what are you feeling? Why don't you go check out the card shop too, Cooper? It's right there at the crossroads. I'm excited. I love card shops. Uh, definitely saving the game after that one because we made some money right now. And if there's a card shop open, we're going to take advantage of that card shop. We're going to have a lot of fun. So let's go down here. Probably with some stuff up there I could have collected, but ignore that. Uh, let's go in here. Nope, no card shop. Give me card shops, everybody. That's all I want. I want to open packs. That's one of the most fun things to do in Yu-Gi-Oh! All right. Oh, this is the floral place. So that means the card shop's on the right. Yep. Hey, what's up, child? Cooper, I think I got pretty good cards in this deck. Oh, yeah. A little later, this, uh, this is going to hold a rental deck dual tournament. A rental deck is just a deck that's already been made, so you could try all kinds of different decks. Interesting. Is that like structure deck pools? That would be kind of cool. The structure deck duels are fun. You know, as long as I don't have to use that stupid Maka, not Makina, sorry, that stupid Ancient Gear one, which don't get me wrong, I love Ancient Gears, but goddamn, that Gadgetron Dragon structure deck is terrible. Like, literally the bottom of the bottom. Hey, this card shop looks like any other. I thought you guys would be dressed like cowgirls but and cowboys, but no. Hey, are you interested in a rental deck duel? I know. You know about the rental deck duel tournament we're about to start? Of course you do. Actually, one of our participants hasn't shown up, so were you wondering if you want to join instead? Why didn't you ask that kid behind me, huh? Why, why is it me? I mean, I'll duel you, but give me a deck. Cooper, got it. All right, just come talk to me when you're ready to start. Oh, I, I'm ready. 
I'm already ready. I'm, I'm curious about this rental duel. All right, all right. The tournament is about to begin. Wait, what? What? What do you mean the tournament? I'm, I, I thought we were just going to do a test duel. Thank you all for waiting. Let the rental deck tournament begin. This is a round robin tournament between four competitors. The winner will receive a prize. Oh no, we're in some trouble. I gotta take on West. Oh good, he did get to join. All right, child, let's see what you got. West is a youngster from Crash Town, but he could duel with the best of them. And he's up against Cooper, who entered the very last minute. That actually you forced me, but whatever. Pick your deck and let's duel. Remember, okay, what, I get to figure out. Oh. All right, so we got a starter synchro deck. We got emperors. We got black wings. We got. Machinas, we got Light Swarms, we got Fusion Heroes, we got Dragoonities, we got Infernities, we got, wow, these are, these structure decks are out of my time period for sure. Uh, Gladiator Beasts, we got Dragons, we got X Sabers, we got Dimension Rulers, what the hell is that freaking, is that Raphael's deck, what the hell? Six Sams, Fables, whoa, these decks are awesome, alright, you know me guys, I'd actually like to try out the Fusion deck, I love Fusion. Uh, but I'm going up against Infernities, so we'll see if this Fusion deck can actually do the job. I know in this synchro time period, uh, fusions don't exactly have what it takes. Well, I did that in under two seconds. I'm damn good. I didn't even know it was about to happen. I just freaking, I, I just pressed buttons and it worked. <laughs> under two seconds. Okay. And this deck does come with synchros. What the hell? I thought this was a fusion deck. Screw me though. Let's see what this says. Okay. Yo, I get Stardust and freaking Black Rose Dragon? What the hell? All right. So what do we need? Element of Hero Ocean, Element of Hero Woodsman. Got it. Uh, Elemental Hero, uh, Earth Monster, got it. Water Monster, got it. Light Monster, got it. Wind Monster, got it. Warrior Monster, and Dragon Type Synchro, what the hell? And we need Fire Monster, got it. Okay, so I can make a fusion right now if I wanted to. While you control this face-up card, any opponent's monster that battles this card but is not destroyed by a battle returns to the owner's hand. I'd like that to stay in my hand. Uh, what does Elemental Hero Volt uh, Voltic do? When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, uh, you can search some one elemental hero. How much defense do you have? 15? All right, we're gonna go with Voltic in defense mode and then we'll make a decision later. So let's see what happens with Voltic. If he lives, I'll be happy. If he dies, he dies. Life, uh, life sucks sometimes. You know? So let's see what happens. All right, my opponent already started with one of the best Infernity cards, uh, 1800 beater. Uh, luckily for me, that means uh, they still have hands, so they can't use its effect. Sadly, I'm going to lose Voltic, but it's fine. At least we can learn more about our Infernity friend. And let's see if he gets a hand where he can get rid of it. Five cards means he could set five spells and traps if he's that lucky. Okay, he's not that lucky, which means he can't use most of his effects yet, which means I'm at an advantage. So I'm going to draw a card. I got Armored B, which I didn't think I'd find in this deck. That's kind of weird to put this one. I guess the Wind Monster, whatever. Uh, I want to try Fusion, so we're going to use Poly. And of course, I want this one. Yeah, this is the one I want more than anything. So we're going to get rid of our Water Monster and our Element to Hero Monster. And we're going to Fusion Summon our Absolute Zero, because this card is busted. Like, seriously, but oh my god, he gets a summoning animation, and they, they, okay, they made the animations better than they were in the older games. Like, don't get me wrong, the older ones, I'm happy they have them at all, where, like, they pop out of the card, and it's, like, for real, but, you know, I'm very impressed, very impressed. So now we're just gonna go for damage. I should have saved my tuna monster, but let's just assume he'll be fine. Nope, he's, oh, well, actually, that removed me from play, so that means I, I don't get my effect, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Thank god, that card's so busted. God damn, is freaking absolute zero busted. So we're moving. What it does le says leave the field. Is that really? Is that really all it takes? If, when this card is removed from the field, so it has to be bounced back to the deck or hand to not be a, a menace. And what does this do? If the, in the fusion material monsters, Elmo hero fusion monster can now have removed from play. Return parallel world fusion. I don't even know. What that means. I don't want to read the card. I'm just figuring this out as I go. Hopefully he doesn't have another 18 beater. There's only that Inferni uh, Infernity monster that I know about. So unless he was lucky enough to draw two, I should be fine. Um, but you know, things happen, we'll see. I really would like to beat West right now if possible. So he's just gonna set his card. I can live with that, that's, that's not a problem. New trap card, let's see if he can get rid of his hand. Uh-oh, oh crap, we're in a dangerous situation. Okay, he still has a hand, which means his deck is not useful yet. Um, Giant Trunet could really 
completely ruin this kid right now because this would make it so he's guaranteed not to have a hand. I mean, to have a hand for a bit. And then I can do this. I can summon my bee. And I'm assuming that monster can't stop me. Because no matter what, nothing can stop me, even if it has 2k defense. So, okay, it has 17 defense, but anytime I battle a monster, it bounces. So now we know that's the monster card, which I really can't let them have no monsters uh, left in hand. So now we did that. And then on main phase two, we're going to make one of the safest cards in the game. We're going to go ahead and synchro summon Stardust Dragon. There we go. Heck yeah. And with this, even those uh, trap cards can't stop us. Aw, yeah, look at Stardust. Damn, good looking card in this game. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to end my turn there, and we're going to see what our friend here decides to do against me. West, we know you have a guaranteed monster in Priority Guardian, and we know you have three spells and traps in your hand. And, uh, but that means you could have three monsters in your hand. You could have two monsters in your hand. Uh, we're about to find out. I'm going to assume that's the same card, and I'm going to assume there's no way you'll ever set all of them. If you did, I'd be very upset. So you even, you set less this time, which is kind of weird. And in a deck, you'd think you'd play differently. Ocean would be really good. Get back my alias card. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and summon Ocean. We understand that the opponent probably has more attack than us. I'm going to trust Stardust, uh, to its defense to protect me. So we're just going to go in in case uh, we hit a Mirror Force. Oh, what the hell? You have Beetle? Damn. All right. So we destroyed Infinity Beetle, which doesn't matter. That's a card you kind of want uh, alive, since that's how you get your Synchro Monsters out. But, you know, screw you. If you don't want to protect your Beetle, then you can let it die and, you know, pay the price. I have a Stardust Dragon on the field. I have a freaking uh, Elemental Hero Ocean on the field. I'm feeling great. Next turn, I can bring back my Elemental Hero uh, Alias, or Neos Alias, and hopefully get to use it against West. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll, uh... I'll, uh <laughs> I'm a little worried, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm, I'm hoping, yeah, okay. As long as he doesn't play a bunch of spells and traps, his whole hand, basically. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, because he kept his monster that's literally invincible, so I'm kind of scared. And I also need to get another monster on the field that's a little bit stronger. Uh, Ocean, I definitely need your effect to help me get that said monster. So of all of these cards, I want this card back to my hand, 100%. Because this card can actually defeat Infernity Guardian, or whatever it's called. Yeah, let's go to, nope, don't want that card. We're going to go ahead and summon this guy. And then this guy, we're going to get Bottomless, which sucks, but, uh... You know what, I could save my monster, and then I'll just get Stardust back next turn. Yeah, because I want, Alias could destroy the face down monster, basically guaranteed. And Stardust, uh, yeah, I can't do the damage with Stardust this turn, but at least I get to keep an extra monster for next turn. So that means I have two monsters that can get through high defense points. Because 17 is still pretty high, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Especially for an Elemental Hero deck, 17 is higher than most Elemental. Damn it, it's still in his hand! Which means, oh no, he might have waited long enough. Crap. If the next card he draws is a spell or trap card, I'm screwed. That would really suck. I got him so low on life points. But I just didn't know that he was saving it that whole- Oh shit! Shit! Oh my god, you game! I was pressing B to keep the thing going. And I didn't realize I have to activate Stardust to come back from the grid. Oh, I am I'm in so much trouble. Oh man. If I if I I swear to god if he plays down a spell. I mean not like it could save me. Having Stardust wouldn't save me from that invincibility effect. Okay, but having a Stardust would save me from everything else, so... This sucks. Um, I have Miracle Fusion. That, that could help a lot. Uh, yes, Ocean, I need your effect. So I could use this to bring back Elemental Hero Voltic. Mm -hmm. Okay. In phase one, let's see. What does this card mean? If the Fusion Material Monsters is... Fu uh, the Elemental Hero Fusion Monster card have been removed from play. Uh, return them to your deck, then special summon monsters. Okay, let me just read what I need to summon that other fusion. What do I need? Okay, one Director type Synchro Monster, one Warrior type Monster. So I could have fused last turn, but I messed up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to summon Voltic. Okay, summon Voltic. Then we're going to activate Miracle Fusion. 
Miracle Fusion. We're going to get out. Um, let's see. Where's Ocean again? What does this card do? Uh, this monster cannot be special summon except by Fusion. Tribute one face up element to hero monster. No, that sucks. Uh, no. What does this one do? Uh, slept up to two of your move from play. Yeah, that's not bad, but no. Yeah, Ocean's still just the best. Or zero, Absolute Zero is still the best one. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of King of the Swamp forever. And we're going to get rid of Ocean, surprisingly. I want to keep Voltage. Yeah. So those cards are gone. We're going to get ourselves uh, one of them hero cards. Yeah. And then with this hero card, we're going to go ahead and get aggressive. Because my opponent... I know that could be the 1700 defense monster. I know it's not invincible because he has a card in his hand. So we could test the waters by doing this. We're going to attack West Monster. Again, he did not, and it's Infernity Avenger. Crap. Uh, I, well, I can end the duel right now if he doesn't have a card to stop me. So we're going for game. And because he never set a card. Oh, my God. I got so lucky. He always drew an, an extra monster, and it screwed his Infernity deck. That was probably the easiest deck for me to face, and I got lucky. Alright, no damage bonus, fusion summon bonus, synchro summon bonus, return to the hand bonus, money bonus. I like money. Uh, no, don't uh, don't ask me to save replays. There's nothing here that I can't save. It's on the internet. It's right there. You all can see it. I don't need to save it. I lost. Maybe the deck I was using wasn't up to it. Well, honestly, for AI, I assume AI can't use Infernities. They can't do it in Tag Force 7. So why the hell? And not really in Tag Force 6 either. I mean, they're okay in Tag Force 6, but not really. Oh, crap. What am I doing here? Oh, do I talk to you when I'm ready to duel again? All right, well, before I do that, I think everyone is waiting in chat. There's no chat. Everyone's waiting in the comments for me to buy cards. So let's go ahead and do a little shopping. Please have a look around. I would love to have a look around. What kind of cards? Oh, it's these packs. Okay. Okay. Ooh, starter deck. Okay. Yeah, we'll always buy a starter deck. No reason not to. Um, then we're going to buy some of these, some of these, some more of these. Uh, some of the... I don't like water monsters, but I'll go with it. Um, and some of these. Now, I'm going to save some money for next time, because we bought a structure deck this time, so... We're going to save some money for next time. It looks like the packs are pretty inexpensive, so that's kind of nice. Battle Footballer, uh, King, no. Uh, Rageki Break, okay. Archfiend, yeah. Summon Skull of Lightning, yeah, that's a good one, okay. Uh, Despair from the Dark is funny. Gather your mind, not for me. Shuffle, no. Ooh, Dark Room of Nightmare can be good. And uh, that dragon, I don't. I'm not a big fan. But Dark Room of Nightmare was a good pool. All right, let's see. Wall Reveal and Light. Busted card. Ojama, no. The No, not that fairy, no. Reverse Mirror Force or whatever. Dark Mirror Force, yeah, no. No, thank you. All right, let's try again. Thunder Crash, not for the current deck. Uh, Sasuke Samurai, no. DNA Transplant, yeah, if I make a fire deck, yeah. Drilago, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Reinforcements, I love it. Um, don't know these cards. No Man Extermination, meh. I don't know that card either. Okay, so what are these? Worm whatever, X Saber Uns, and Miss Valley Shaman. Bunch of tuner monsters. Uh, just one tuner monster, whatever. Alright, let's try this pack again. Uh, don't know it. Reinforcements, uh, just pulled that one. I don't know that card. X Saber Arabellum, I know that card. So let's see, what is this one? Uh, no, I didn't know that one. This one. Okay, Ally of Justice card. Nah. And what about this one? Ally of Justice card. Nah. Okay, these cards kind of suck. Buster Blader, that does a soul exchange. Hey, okay, those cards don't suck. Dark Magic Attack, that's nice. See, these are what I was uh, I was wanting. Like, so look at these old school cards. I know every card here. Even this Ally of Justice card, because I've used it before in uh, dual puzzles. So let's see. Firewall, okay, good tuner monster right there. Magic Jammer, that's a nice card. Um, don't know that card. And Infernal Fire Blast, I do know that card. What is this card? Flame Veil Dragnaught. This card is destroyed by battle and since the graveyard and inflicts 500 damage to your opponent, you can remove from play this card and your graveyard and one fire monster. Oh, it's for Flame Bells. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's see this one. Swift Guy, I like Swift Guy. There you go. I don't know that. Crystal Sapphire Pegasus. Black Pendant, that's nice. Um, Tuner Monster, that's nice. It's like one of them Ally of Justice's cards, yeah. One tuner, one more non-tuner. Um, 200 tech for each light monster in your opponent's graveyard. Okay, could be good. Depending. I could just add that to the deck. Fair Meteor Crush, that's good. I like Big Bang Shop, but that one's good. Uh, no, Ryoku can be okay. And I don't know that other card. Uh, Gen X Undyne. Alright, let's try this pack. 
Ooh, I know those cards. Not very big fan, but I like the first one at least. Trap Jammer's fine. Okay. And that looks like a Gishki. No, it wasn't a Gishki. It was an Ice Barrier card. Okay. Now, what is this card? When this card is sent directly from the hand to the graveyard, you can special summon it. That's a nice card. Offer into the Doom. Okay. Don't want that card. Straight Flush. No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. And no, thank you. Okay. Don't like any of these. I, these packs are full of cards I don't know about. And then we're going to open the starter deck, or structure deck. And I got Giga 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 Marauding Captain, Goblin Attack Force, Hayabusa Knight, Synchron Explorer, Quibbled Hedgehog. Good pulls, good pulls. Uh, Hyper Synchron, depending. Junk Warrior, that's really good. Warrior of Lady of the Wasteland, that's really good. Uh, Speed Warriors, whatever. Hammer Shot's good, I already have it. Um, Secret Barrel's good for burn decks. Scrap, Scrap Iron Scarecrow is good for any deck. I got Junk Warrior and I got uh, Junk Destroyer. Okay. This, this is better. This is better. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to be opening up more packs and we're going to continue whatever that tournament is in this round robin style. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all then. Bye bye.